Good afternoon, everybody. So happy to have Dr. Jan Carney here. Jan is a member of the Last Cancer Board and has been a critical leader for the organization. Can you tell us a little bit about where you're from, what you're doing, and where you are today? I'm here at the University of Vermont Lawrence College of Medicine, and I'm an Associate Dean for Public Health and Health Policy and a Professor of Medicine. do tons of work with our medical students to respond to community needs. I'm part of those uh, areas are in the areas of cancer prevention, so, which aligns very well with our work at Less Cancer. Well, we really appreciate your leadership. You are so important to us. We've worked on some projects together, and you're here today to let us know a little bit about that, how we have come to the University of Vermont. We've worked on projects, and, and, and after this conversation, we'll be seeing one of your students speak. Can you share a little of that? Sure. Here in our curriculum, we think that public health is really important. And for more than more than a decade, our students have been doing community requested projects about all kinds of areas of public health. And Less Cancer has been a part of that for several projects, and we're delighted at that. Our projects with Less, Less Cancer have focused on efforts to get gain information via social media so that we can increase our education to help people raise awareness about ways, especially to prevent cancer. And our students project this past year looked at common types of cancer and what was the knowledge that people had and do we need to do more in cancer prevention? Previously, we've done one on HPV and the vaccine that actually prevents cancer. So all of these things are extremely important in terms of letting people know the public communities and patients that we can prevent many types of cancer and we need to let people know that that's possible and and how they can how they can do that um the other thing i would mention is during the pandemic this is true nationally that because offices were shut down and we had a period of shutdown people had to delay important cancer screenings like mammograms or colorectal cancer screening. And so it's really important to keep getting that message out for people to, to please get those as recommended. Well, you have done an extraordinary job of that. We had a big response. Can you tell them a little bit about our most recent project, um, the, what we did, how we got that information out? The students came up with some very short questions, just several questions, and you'll hear more about that in their description. I'll let them talk about their project because they did a fabulous job. And then they tried to get that out and get some responses and then figure out, for example, do young people or older people know about different cancer types? Do people know about skin cancer or screening for colon cancer? So I'm not going to spoil the surprise or all the details. But in general, that's what they did in partnership with Less Cancer. Can you tell us about uh, our next speaker, Dr. Carney? Can you let us know a little bit about our, our next student speaker, a Veronique Pittman speaker? Can you share a little bit about the next speaker? Yes, it's going to be Nick Cran, who's one of our College of Medicine students. And as I mentioned, all of our students um, during their curriculum, it's a required part of the curriculum. And so Nick should be a second year, I believe, now. and what they do is they learn a lot about public health when they're pretty early in their medical training and and our hope is that they will continue to remember about um, all these different things they're learning and they'll be better physicians as a result so you'll get to meet nick he'll he'll speak eloquently about their project and represent the group well, we sure appreciate your work. We appreciate all you do for Less Cancer. And thank you for being with us here today at the National Cancer Prevention Workshop. Thanks so much. You're very welcome. Research has shown that some mortalities related to colon, breast, and skin cancer can be prevented with behavior modifications and early detection. With the help of Less Cancer, our goal for this project was to address missed cancer screenings during the COVID-19 pandemic which may have considerable impact on timely cancer diagnosis. We generated a survey of four true or false statements to assess understanding of risk factors for developing colon, breast, or skin cancer. You can see the questions here. The survey was shared on social media for nine weeks. Participants were grouped by age category, gender, and residence. We collected the data and statistical analyses were conducted 
using the student's t-test on Excel. As you can see, most respondents answer the skin cancer question correctly without any statistically significant difference between age groups or gender. Surprisingly for breast cancer, there were more correct responses in the 28 to 45 age group than in the 45 plus category. For colon cancer, you can see here, uh, there were many more correct responses in the 45 plus age group than in the 18 to 27 category. Of note, younger individuals, specifically those in the 18 to 27 and 28 to 45 age groups, indicated that they did not know where to find screening guidelines when compared to 45 plus individuals. All the aforementioned results were statistically significant as indicated by the p-values shown here. These results indicate that younger individuals have a poor understanding of colon cancer risk factors and are less comfortable in locating educational cancer screening resources. We propose that physicians should initiate conversations about current recommendations and screening guidelines to better educate their patients. There is a clear need for additional resources about risk factors and prevention for leading cancer types to bridge knowledge gaps. Thank you for listening to our presentation and have a great rest of your day.